In this video, I will show you how to introduce these puppies to a collar and a leash. When a family has a, a dog, they need to know how to wear that collar and walk on a leash. So we'll introduce these puppies in a very nice way. And that way when they head home to their families, they already know what these pieces of equipment are. They're comfortable moving around with them attached and their life will be off to a good head start. Here are the items you'll need in this video. Get ready to pause, we'll type them out for you. So it's a good idea with leash training to do this once or twice a day with each puppy, um, rotate through the puppy so that they all get a chance. And then I just walk around my house. So walk around each room, around furniture. You know, in the beginning, you see it's pretty slow. You're only spending one minute to two minutes per puppy. Um, and then they need a break. And then you can bring them back out, work with them again, but definitely use the spaces in your house to practice leash training. So as I attach this collar and leash, I'm just going to put some treats out so that she's a little bit distracted and not going for my hands so much. She's pretty gentle anyway, aren't you, sweetheart? I think. Yeah, so you just wanna check that their collar, you can fit two fingers underneath of it. We'll get another treat out here and I'll get her distracted so I can attach the leash to the collar. All right, distraction is the name of the game. So you can see that she's ready to work, she's excited. That's what we want. I want to make sure that she'll follow this little treat so that she doesn't care that there's a leash dangling from her neck. Good girl, yes. So I like to just start out backwards, bup, 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 this way. So she's gonna say, oh yeah, there's something attached. We'll just get her right back on a treat so she ignores this. And I just like, walked backwards and she follows and she gets a treat for that. We'll do that a couple times. Let's go. Good girl. And then we'll turn and walk the same direction. That's kind of bugging you, huh? Let's go. There we go. Girl. All right, are you ready? You ready? Let's go. Good job. Let's go. Good girl. And then when I stop, I just like to help them sit and give them a treat for sitting when I stop. Pop, pop, pop. Before they hit the end of the leash, I just call them back to me and get them going again in a different direction. It's okay to switch directions. Yes, good girl. When I start walking again, I'll say, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> good girl. And every few steps, we're just going to feed her another treat. Good job. Pop, pop, pop. It's wrapping around your neck a little bit. There we go. This way. This way. Pop, pop, pop. Good girl. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good girl. Yes. All right. Let's go. Good girl. So let's have you try now. Yep, just put that treat right on her nose so she gets excited about what you have and then she forgets about the collar and the leash. Yeah, and you can just keep walking in that backwards fashion. Yeah, there you go. And treat her for sitting and then head that direction. I just like to tell her that I'm going. So, hey, let's go. So she can have a little cue that she starts to know, oh, something's about to happen. Good, and then when she sits, you can go ahead and give her that treat. And then let's walk back this way. Let's go. Yep, just put it right on her nose. There you go, good. Good. So a lot of luring in this initial phase of just showing her what to do and where to go. And then we want to progress it to where you're standing upright and you're delivering the treat and walking and delivering the treat and walking. She might not quite be ready for that, but let's try it. Let's see if she can go. walk along with you. There we go, there you go. Let's yep, get her attention back on you, good job. And then we'll walk back this way. Does it matter which way you turn? Nope, it's okay. However, you can just get her to follow you. Right now it's just about getting her to follow you and to not care that there's a leash attached to her. She's probably hitting the end of her attention span. So we'll get a little more movement from her and then we'll let her have a break. Good job, let's get one more sit for her. You can even stop right there and just get a sit to have her cooperate a little bit. Yep, and then we'll go ahead and take the leash off and we can give her a little recess. Just the leash 
just the leash. We'll leave her collar on. It's good to leave their collars on and get used to them. They might start scratching at it a little bit. That's pretty normal. <laughs> but we'll get her used to the feel of just wearing one.